dug kind of represents the history of here, don't you? There used to be 70 fishing boats here, now there's only five or six, but you would consider not voting for the SNP and going for Tory this time because of Brexit? Yeah, possibly because it's the, the pro-EU stance that the SNP have. Uh, they obviously want to go independence. I don't really have a problem with that, but I do have a problem with a full EU membership plan. Because you and think it would deliver the something, don't process. you, for the fisheries, for the farming yeah. community, yeah. if we went Brexit? Uh, I know, Roz, you want to vote Conservative. A big REF base here yeah. that delivers more than half the jobs but of that's the constituency. the economy would be very, very poor here. And you came here because your husband was on REF base from England yeah, three years it. ago, and you're here 30 odd years later, aren't you? Yeah. Why do you believe that the Tories this time would deliver something for this area? <sighs> And for this area, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being realistic because uh, the last time we had the Tory representative in this area was 30 odd years ago when, when we came. Um, I, I would like to think, as a whole of the country, I think they've got, we've got, I hate to quote, but we've got a strong re leadership now. We've got somebody who's actually, you know, going to stand up and say, hey, you know, we matter. Um, this is what we want to say. Well, that um, would be um, music to the Conservatives' party's ears. Uh, we've got a trainee doctor here, Abby, just over there. She, I'm going to steal this battery. She won't approve of that. There's 2,000 <laughs> calories in it, but I absolutely love it. You were listening very hard, I know, what to Jeremy Hunt had to say, because you're looking to see what all the parties might deliver yes. for the NHS, aren't you? Yes, and I think that there's no right answer when it comes to the NHS. It's definitely broken and it needs something, or otherwise the whole system mm. will collapse. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very worried about that. But I think when you look at all the parties and what they're all saying, the Conservatives are the only one with the strong leadership to... OK, OK. Well, there's a lot of Conservatives, but you know me, I can't resist a baby, so I'm going to have to talk to you, Carrie. Hello, you've woken up. You're too young to vote, but never mind. Uh, Carrie, you, what's this fellow called? Corbyn. Corbyn? Corbyn. Corbyn, not, OK. Not that big a but fan. you are unusual here because you'd like to vote Labour. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards Labour. Yeah. He just, I mean, Corbyn's obviously not perfect, but he wants to invest in better healthcare and, and education and renewable energy. It's kind of the big points I would yeah, Now, forward. Joe Kirby is the Labour Party candidate yes. here, who is Amber's <laughs> school teacher. She is her first time voter here, but you're not voting for your teacher, no. are you? No, um, like I've said, um, she's, she would make an excellent candidate, very dedicated to her job, very worthwhile point she's putting out. But for me, like I've said to many this morning, the general leadership for Labour, it's half the battle. Having and you are leadership. voting SNP? Definitely, much stronger <laughs> leadership. I mean, Nicola Sturgeon, fantastic, strong voice. And then Angus Robertson, I mean, you can't really fault him, one of the very few people that's effectively scrutinising down in Westminster. Yeah. So, definitely. OK, well, there's a still a lot of... Uh, but this is a key battleground, so there's a still a lot of fighting to be done. I'm just going to have my buttery and look at the view. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. That is some way to wake up, Kate. Look at that. Absolutely stunning.